Vaping is the new modern alternative to smoking traditional cigarettes. But like all new things, it comes with all new problems. Hi, I'm Omar and I'm here to talk to you about vaping. Some of the general background about vaping, vaping products, reasons to vape, and the vaping bans being put in place to limit vaping. So to start off, in an article, Vaping, A Journey Through History, uh, Christina Matthew says that, that it was first introduced as a smokeless non-tobacco product in 1965, but it didn't start selling in the United States until 2007, uh, introduced as e-cigarettes. In 2007, that's really when it started picking up, people started using it more. And the way it works is, you know, you have a battery that powers a coil that heats up juice that turns it into vapor. And that vapor is then inhaled and you get your fix like that, nicotine fix. So there are different uh, vaping products out there available for use. Some being like jewels that are the most popular, uh, puff bars and uh, add a, like a bigger vape. So you do have like three parts to it. You have the battery, the atomizer and the tank. So the way those work out, you go buy a vape juice at a store, you put it into the tank, put the batteries in, it'll heat it up, and make it into vapor and you inhale that. So the juice do have different nicotine levels. So if you are an avid cigarette smoker, you do inhale a lot of nicotine. They have higher levels of nicotine juice and there is lower levels. So when you do start trying to quit, you can lower the nicotine level until it's basically zero and it makes it a lot easier to quit that way. So nicotine level and juices vary from, you know, six milligrams to, you know, up to like fifties. And so some of the reasons that people choose to vape is they want to quit cigarettes. You know, smoking for 15 years could cause a lot of health problems that people don't want to deal with. So they'll go move over to vaping. So those risks are lowered. Stress is a big one as well. And, you know, the same reason people smoke cigarettes is to relieve stress from work, from school, just daily life. And the last reason, uh, vape tricks. So a lot of people have made a community around this. They have learned a lot of, to do a lot of tricks with the vapor, you know, O's, tornadoes, different things like that. And it has become a big culture to people. They have conventions, they have, you know, YouTube pages, Instagram pages, all devoted to this. So the next thing I want to talk about is the vaping ban. The reason people want to ban vaping is because a lot of teenage, uh, there's a lot of teenage use on it. Uh, there was a, a poll made by the LA Times that said that 5 million students, middle and high school students, vaped in 2019. In 2018, it was 3.5 million. And this causes a big worry between you know parents and just people and communities because it has different health effects. It messes with people's brains, especially younger ones, because it's not fully developed. Lung issues, uh, some you know people uh, see liquid in their lungs they cough a lot you know can cause many different effects to the body and so some of the laws being put in place to stop this from happening is they are banning trying to ban flavored vape juice from being sold in stores you will be able to still buy it online just won't be able to go into a physical store and buy it the reason for this is a lot of juices do have sweet flavors uh you know appealing names some being, you know, mango, mint, uh, smash, berry, uh, Hulk Tears is one of them, which is a, you know, weird names that kids will see, see, find it kind of appealing. They want to try it. And since nicotine is an addictive product, they'll get hooked to it. And so these laws being put in place are to help limit that. So kids won't have an easy access to it. So in conclusion, vaping is a good, product to quit to uh, traditional cigarettes but it comes at a risk of you know kids using them and getting their hands on them and getting hooked to them and so for that you know they put a lot of bans out in place that is affecting california and the surrounding areas some being sacramento san francisco had already started banning some vaping products